right, good afternoon everybody. Welcome to your favorite beverage of the day and uh, questions and answers and so forth. And I wanted to talk to you today about my experience with Lowe's. Um, it's not to say I would never shop there again. Of course I would. It's like Harbor Freight or anything else. You've got, you know, good and bad that you find out when you shop at these places. And anyway, what I needed is I had an estimate between a couple of plugged up drains and so the lowest estimate was going to be about 225 and i thought you know what i don't have one of those mechanical drain augers anymore um maybe i'll just buy it so i looked around online you know amazon home depot these places and i decided the one that i wanted even though i read through the, you know the good and the bad is i'm going to buy this one from lowe's well you could only buy it online okay Okay, so it was a Thursday morning, I, and it said on there they would have it to the store uh, locally here where I am, and they'd have it there by Monday morning. Okay, fine. So I went ahead, I bought it. Weekend came and went, Monday came around, and I called out there and said, no, we don't have it yet. Okay, they couldn't really tell me anything about, you know, the expected delivery. So I called the customer service number. They said, no, it'll be there tomorrow. There was a delay, and I'm like, okay. Um, wish I had it sooner, but okay, I'll wait. So Tuesday rolls around. It's not there. So I call them back. We're sorry. There's, you know, they gave, I could tell the girl was reading something and bottom line is it won't be there till Thursday. Okay. Nothing I can do. Got to wait till Thursday. All right. Thursday comes and then I turn around. It's not there. And I call again and I'm a little annoyed and the lady on the phone when I call customer services it'll be there tomorrow for sure and I'm like okay I go but you guys said it would be delivered you know if I ordered on Thursday by Monday it's not and I lightly complained about it and anyway so okay fine this isn't going to get anywhere well you can cancel it no I don't want to cancel it I mean I, I actually need the tool the equipment Friday comes okay so I call out at the store we don't have it yet but the delivery hasn't arrived it should arrive within the next few hours okay I was at work so I called later on they said yeah you know we, we got it in great I'm gonna come out and pick it up no you can't come out and pick it up yet it hasn't been processed through well if I come out there can somebody just process it and just you know give me the box and no, no, we, we don't do it that way. You'll have to wait till it's processed and we will notify you by email and by text message. Okay, so it was late in the, later in the evening anyway, I finally got the text message and I thought, all right, I'll pick it up on Saturday. So wasn't real happy about it, but I still, okay, fine. I went out and I got it, I brought it home. I'm eager to hurry up and use it and get these drains unplugged. Both of them were draining incredibly slow and I thought well that's fine all right so I hooked this thing up and uh, you saw in the picture it's got the motor mounted on top I saw it sparking in there when I touched the foot pedal to spin the auger so I stopped and I thought okay this is not good <laughs> obviously and I tapped on it again and it was working okay but then I could see it sparking again I thought okay okay let's say I'm done with this so I turned around and I still had the box and everything and I took it back out to Lowe's and told them, well, this is the problem and uh, basically I don't want it. You want a replacement? No, I don't want to take a chance. I'm just going to rent one, which I ended up doing. I rented it, I think, from Home Depot and I, you know, anyway, so I said, no, I don't, you know, no. And they said, okay, well, uh, there's going to be a 20% restocking charge on what? Well, on you returning this, I go, well, that isn't going to happen. I go, what makes you think that I would agree to that? Well, any online purchases, it's Lowe's policy, any online purchases that are returned, you get dinged this 20% restocking charge. And I told the guy, well, I need to talk to your manager. So, of course, he got the manager and there was another associate. Pretty soon there's these three and then finally a fourth person that was just listening at the counter and they said look this is Lowe's policy it's 20 percent restocking charge you know and he was kind of being a little firm by saying that you know basically that's the way that it is and I said I have a question for you you sold me a defective product 
do you think it's fair and reasonable at all to charge me a 20% restocking charge on a defective item? Well, sir, you got to understand. No, no, no. Stop, stop. I asked you a question. Just yes or no. Just tell me. Do you think that that's fair and reasonable to do to somebody? And he just stood there looking at me and wouldn't say anything. So then I looked at the manager and I said, I bought this in good faith. This is a terrible way to do business. To sit there and think that on a defective product, maybe if I was returning it because I just had buyer's remorse, okay, you know, whatever, if that's the policy, which I didn't really read it. I'm not saying it is or it isn't. But this is what they were trying to do to me. And I explained this to the manager. And so she's like, well, you know what? She goes, uh, okay. She goes, I, I see your point. I understand it. She goes, let me get somebody to help me. We're going to refund you, you know, the entire amount. And I said, okay, fine. Thank you. Now, this took a large amount of time at the counter going back and forth with these customer service people until you know you finally got to somebody you know that had the ability and the authority to see what I was saying now like I said I could understand if I just didn't want the product but that wasn't the case so would I ever shop at Lowe's again yes but I'm going to be a lot more cautious about when I'm shopping there because the second issue I ran into was a handful of days ago I had a, a coupon ten dollars off any purchase that's about all it said it had a barcode on there and it had an actual barcode number above it and I had it with me and so I thought oh, okay great you know so I went out there and so I found a screwdriver set or something I wasn't sure what I was gonna buy and I went to pay for it and they said no you can't use the ten dollar off you know purchase coupon for the for any of the anything like this and I go like what well, anything that's already on sale, like if it was thirty dollars and it's marked down to twenty-five, and you come with this ten-dollar, you know, coupon, you can't use it because it's already been discounted. So, you have to find something in the store that has no discount. Um, okay, and then I thought it, it it makes sense, I suppose, from a business standpoint, but nowhere on this coupon does it say that. It just says you get ten dollars off your next purchase. Because I looked at it after they told me that so long story short i just ended up getting i think two or three of these 36 packs of uh you know bottled water because we use a lot of water here you know at home and i thought this is this is okay but still it was very time consuming because i had to go from the cashier because she couldn't help me i had to go back to customer service they're the only ones that could help me with this coupon issue to find out what i could and couldn't do so this whole process is frustrating and I decided, well, I'm going to do a video about it because I'm going to get it out there to people so that you don't run into the same trap. Be careful what you're buying online and understand there could very easily be this high restocking charge, you know, before you buy it. And um, if it's a defective product, like in my case, you're going to have to push the issue. But in the end, Lowe's did do the right thing, you know, and they said, look, somebody, a customer, we want to make this up to you. Okay, how? Well, somebody in customer service, you know, from Lowe's is going to reach out to you by email and they may ask you some questions about all this. And I go, okay, if they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. Um, look, I'm okay. I'm whole again or wh whatever term you want to use. Thanks. I go, my only aggravation is all the time I spent, you know, playing around with this whole issue. But like I said, I ended up renting one. I got the drains unplugged, but you know, anyway, it's my rant. I mean, like I said, yes, I'll shop there again, but I'll be a hell of a lot more cautious next time, especially if I order anything online. All right, folks, I'm the home handyman. I hope you click subscribe. I hope you keep following me. I'll see you folks on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.